What is going on, guys? It is Mad and Mobile Slay, and today, guys, this is a, a much needed, super important video. I'm going to be showing you how to become rich. And here are two things that you need to know if you successfully want to make coins and become a rich Mad and Mobiler uh, like today or or like in the next few days. Easy. One, you have to be patient. Patient, patient, patient. Um, you don't have to be crazy patient, but you have to be patient enough where you can sell all of the players, like I'm going to explain soon, and you have to be patient enough to uh, to not be greedy and throw all them into large quick sells and stuff, because that never usually pays off. So patience is key. Number two, you have to be dedicated to this technique. Now, I'm not saying you have to be playing 24-7, but you'll see as we go through... Um, how dedicated you need to be to be successfully rich. So, if you guys have noticed, in my last video, I had about mm, 500k coins. So, what I did is I had 500k coins, and I used 200 of that K, and I bought Pro Packs yesterday. So, I was, bound, I was down to 300k. So, with those 200k Pro Packs, I was able to sell all of my players, and I was able to get up to 900k. Now, you're saying... Mad and Mobile Slay, you made like 600, 700k, yes, and guys, I make that much money every time I do pro packs and sell, and guess what, guess how many elites I get, I get maybe one or two elites, and you're like, oh my god, that's insane, how do you do that, you you hack, you use bots, you buy coins, Mad and Mobile Slay, no, I'm not an idiot, I earn my money, like most of you probably do, because you guys are awesome, and I'm going to show you all my secret, my money making method, on pro packs now don't just stop the video like all oh, pro packs i've seen this a billion times this is going to be the most important coin making method video that you've seen probably this year because it is going to explain everything to you in a short amount of time and a lot of good content so immediately this is how we're going to start you um whenever you have more than 50k let's say 60 70 75k once you get to 50 75k between that area you can start this technique so Play your season's games, do live events, sell a player, get to 50 or 75k. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to open pro packs with all of your coins. Now, don't be um, upset. So here we go. We opened up a pro pack. We got a 77 tight end. All right. We can open up all 50k of our coins and get nothing except 77 tight ends or 77 OGs, and we will still make money. And why is that? Well, because when you sell players, the odds are that you are going to get much, much more. And I'll explain that momentarily. So, there we go. Um, I opened up three pro packs, and I get an elite 85 linebacker. Now, this is a good example. I get an 85 linebacker. That's hype. Team of the week. It probably goes for a lot. Now, here is my number one rule. For elites, You every pro pack elite that you get, if it's 88 or lower, you sell every one of those boys. I don't care... If you if you if he can update your team, I don't care if whatever he does, you sell him because if right when you sell him, you're making profit and your uh, money making method is working. The moment you put the gold player you pull or the leaf player you pull on your team, you are losing money and you're gonna get discouraged. So here we go. This is my ultimate cheat sheet, and boom, here we go. This is the Madden Mobile Slay Pro Pack cheat sheet, and I'm gonna explain everything right here. So step one. Um, if you pull an 83 or above out of a pro pack, these this is the first rule. You're going to sell every 83 and above pro pack gold player um, individually. So if it's an 84, an 85, 86, um, 88, 89 gold, I don't know if they have those, but 83 and above, you're, you're going to search for them in the auction house and sell each one of those individually. Now, from 82... To 80, which these are the gold players, after you've done all your pro packs opening, you're going to have gold, silvers, uh, collectibles, bronze, like all, and everything that you see here is what you can get out of those, um, out of those collectibles. Sorry about that, guys. Someone was at the door. So, let me jump right back into it. So, I was at, um, where I was talking about how, um, all of these are going to be, um, available in the pro packs that you open. So we've talked about 83 and above, sell all those individually. Now we move on to 82 and 80. So for gold, silver, and bronzes, I'm going to give you the exact prices that you guys are going to post them for, which guarantee at least a 75 to more like 69%, uh, 70%, kind of around that area, um, 
percentage of selling. So not th so here's the one thing. They're not all going to sell like immediately. Like that's the patience part. You have to probably repost them at least 3 or 4 times. And you're going to repost them you're going to post them for 4 hours every time, 4 hours. So for um, 82 to 80 uh, overall gold players, you're going to do the buy now at 6,999, start price 3,500 for every 82 to 80. So basically, if I pull an 82 or an 80, and I, um, that's 6,999, and those will most likely sell um, like 75% of the time, that's already uh, more than 90% of the pro pack that it costs. So this is what you're going to be doing to sell for 82 to 80. So right now, um, jump on your game and post all your 82 to 80s for buy now 699 and start price 3500. Now, for every other gold, so from 79 to the lowest gold, your buy now price is going to be 4250 and your start price will be 2850. Now, there might be skepticals where they're like, well, I like to post my golds really high and hopefully someone buys. Okay, you do you. Uh, you get your money. Uh, I made 600k, so I'm just going to go with what I've been doing, and you don't have to do that. Um, you can post your smart comments or whatever you want, but I'm just trying to help you guys because I know uh, Christmas is coming up, Thanksgiving's coming up, and you guys need cash and coins, and I know that. So, 4250. 2850 start price for 79 to the lowest gold moving on to silvers for every single silver you're going to do buy now 899 coins start price 500 coins those will most likely sell uh, 75 80 percent of the time remember you're going to have to repost these at the exact same prices until they all sell um bronze players for every bronze player buy now price 400 start price 200 and bronze players usually don't sell as fat as much as the silvers or golds do but uh, but I would just keep going 400 and 200 for bronze until they all sell. Punters and kickers. If it, if it is a gold punter, if it is a silver punter, if it is a bronze punter or gold kicker, silver kicker, or bronze kicker, any um, any color punter or kicker, you're going to sell them all individually because even a bronze punter could go for like 10K and a lot of people will just post them up for like 400 coins and they'll sell instantly. So be aware of that. You're going to sell all of your punters and kickers individually. Now, you open up a pro pack, bomb, 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 bang, bomb, bang, bomb. You get, uh, okay, you get a captain collectible. Well, what you're going to do is you're going to sell that captain collectible. Not a mobile slave, but I want to put it into the set. No, you don't put it into the set because you're trying to make money, right? You're not trying to open pro packs to make your team better right now. You can do that after you have enough money to do that. So if you want to make money, you're going to sell that collectible. Even if it's the best captain, even if it's the worst captain. If you don't agree with me, then that's completely fine. But this is what I've been doing, and I'm going to share it with you. You're going to sell your captain collectible. Next, say you get a position collectible, Donovan McNabb. You're going to sell that collectible individually as well with all the other's collectibles. So, for elites, like I just showed you, I was able to pull this 85 Whitney Merciless. And what you're going to do is if you pull an elites, which are very much possible in Pro Packs, it happens, a lot. you're going to sell everything 88 and lower. Um, if they're higher than 88, uh, most likely add them to the addition of your team or um, if you already have someone who's in that position that's already like a 90 or above, you can just sell the 89. You can sell the 90. Sell them, guys. This is a coin making method. So, whatever you get in your coin making method, you want to sell. So, you're like, well, every time I open up a pro pack, if I get a good pull, I want to put them on my team. Well, I completely understand that. But, unless uh, this is what this is what I go by, if I'm going to open up a bunch of pro packs, if I'm opening up 50K, I'm going to open up 50K. If I get an elite, I'm not going to just go put that elite on my team because that elite is part of my 50K and I want to get my money back in more. So what I'm going to do is I'll take my 50k and any elites I get, I'll just sell everything out of that pack opening. And then I'll probably double my money, get to 100k, then I'll do it again, and then I'll probably get to 250k. I'll sell, uh, and then I'll probably do maybe like, out of 250k, I'll do like 150k pro pack opening depending on my luck. Then I'll sell everything there, I'll get to 400k. I'll do a 200k pro pack opening. I'll, then I'll sell all of those 200k and I'll probably get up to like 700k. Now I'm at 700k and I'm like, okay, well I'm just going to open up 100k just for fun to see if I can get any leads to help my team. So I'm at 700k, I open up 100k pro packs and bam, I pull an elite. And he updates my team, so I throw him on my team. And I sell everything else, and I probably still make profit. So you can use pro packs to get your team better, which is 
which is the main goal of Madden Mobile, to build your team. But to build your team first, you have to stick with selling your elites at first, and then you can um, move into keeping your elites. So hopefully this all makes sense. Uh, I will be posting this on Instagram at Madden Mobile Slay. Go ahead and give me a follow, guys, so you guys can have this for reference. You can always come back to this video. But this is my cheat sheet for Pro Pack Sale. Now we are back to our Pro Pack. So there we go. We got an 85 linebacker team of the week. That's an awesome pool, guys. Um, I'll let you guys check out his stats real fast. Tackle, 90 pursuit, 8, 95 acceleration. So he definitely is a beast. So now that you guys know the pricing, open up some Pro Packs. Um, make sure you have at least 50 to 75k to first start off, and you're going to sell everything. So right now, I still need to do I open some Pro Packs, so I need to sell. Here's what I have right here. I have a few golds, and here is the temptation. Man, look at all these golds. Why don't I just go to sets? Oh, why don't I go to sets, upgrades, and throw them into the 10 trophy sets? Do not do this, guys. Um, look at this. Watch this. I'm going to act like I'm just going to throw in these. Boom, boom, okay. I'm just going to post these guys real quick. And then, yeah. So, if based off of our cheat sheet, if we go back, buy now price is 4,250 for the golds. That would be the lowest that we would get. So, we'd probably end up getting 4,000 per gold when we sell them. Now, let's look at this. One, two, three. There's, um, there is 10 slots here. 10 times 4,000, that's 40,000 coins. Do you really think you're going to get 40,000 coins out of a 10 trophy pack? You might, but you're just going to get, you're spending $40,000, you're going to get a bunch of trophies, and then you probably won't even have enough for a large quick sell. And say you do get enough for a large quick sell, well, yay, you put it into the large quick sell and you get 10K. Well, you spent 40K getting the trophies and you get 10K quick sell. That's stupid. You lost 30K. So do not do quick sells until you have at least like a million coins because quick sells are fun. But if you're trying to make money, I would stay away from upgrades like quick sells, small quick sells, and those kind of things. So Pro Pack, this is um, the most general money making method. But I hopefully, guys, you understand as, if it, as I've explained it to you, um, it's very important it works it works like a charm 82 there we go boom i'm going to sell them for how much did i say 82 is 6999 so i'm going to get i'm going to get 7000 off of him then these all these other guys will probably uh get me uh i'll probably get up to 8k so i get 9 8 9k on this pack that's 3k profit and if you do that enough you're going to make serious bank guys being truthfully honest, I made 600k last night, and I only opened up 200k of pro packs just by selling them. So, please go out and try this. Um, if you if you lose money, then um, uh, there there must be something that you're not doing right because this basically guarantees that you're going to constantly even get equal or more as long as you stay patient and don't quick sell any of your players or put them in sets but if you just keep your players sell them at those rates that i showed you keep your players sell them keep your elites and collectibles sell those elites collectibles keep going keep going you will gain profit and guys it's important thanksgiving's coming up christmas is coming up and you need to save your money so peace out guys this has been madden mobile slay um how to become rich Thank you so much for all of your subscribers, your likes, your comments. You guys are amazing. Um, uh, follow me on Instagram at Madden Mobile Slay, and I will be I will be posting this uh, the cheat sheet up for you guys, and hopefully that this helped. And if it did, share the video, comment what you think, comment if you if it helped at all. Um, it really really should help. So thank you guys so much for walking for watching. And boom, there we go. We get a Ronde Barber collectible. That's like easily like 30k maybe even more so guys pro pack is pro packs are much more than you really think they are so thank you so much and peace out